Does protein powder really help you to lose weight like you've seen on the internet? Hi, I'm Lisey. I'm Tammy. We're the Nutrition Twins, registered dietitians, and personal trainers. And today we're answering the question, does protein powder really help you to lose weight? And this is actually a great question given that some people use it to gain weight. And we're also going to take you for a look inside our pantry to see which protein powders we use ourselves and which ones we recommend for our clients once we've determined whether or not they are the appropriate ones for weight loss and once they understand how to use protein powder for weight loss. So does protein powder help you to lose weight? I thought you'd never ask. <laughs> okay, so here's what the research shows. The research shows that protein is an essential nutrient when it comes to weight loss and it actually suppresses hunger hormones and suppresses appetite, which is amazing. And it takes longer to digest than carbohydrates, so it helps you to stay full, which is so cool because if you're someone who gets hungry a lot, that means if you boost your protein intake, it can help you to lose weight because if you're overeating because you're hungry a lot, then you'll maintain, you'll be less hungry. And so, you'll be able to eat less. Right, and we see this with our clients all of the time who come to us, when they're hungry a lot, we find out they're skimping on protein. Right, and also you have to consider that protein seems to really boost the metabolism and this is especially the case if you strength train and here is why. Your muscles need that protein to rebuild and repair and that muscle that you have on your body is calorie blasting goodness. And what happens when we lose weight, all of us, like no matter what, when you lose fat, you also lose muscle with it. And if you get protein, it helps you to keep some of that muscle, which is so important for your metabolism, let's face it. Hi, Jody. Hi, Jody. Um, thanks for joining us. Uh, so that's yes. really important for weight loss. And then when you also con consider that protein actually takes more calories for your body to digest than carbohydrate or fat. But I have a question, Tammy, I was thinking about this earlier. Do you remember what protein was your go-to? When we finished, um, we, went, we did our nutrition undergraduate and then we both went and did our residencies. Hi, Nancy. Hi, Nancy. And when we did our residencies, um, then Tammy was in Atlanta for Emory and I was in North Carolina. And when it came down and moved back down to start our business there, do you remember what was your go-to protein? Don't, don't answer. Take your guesses. Leave your guesses in the comments. I'm gonna, uh, we wanna know what you think. I will tell you this, just for a hint, and I'll tell you this for a hint. We were really big into working out, which we already always have been, but you were also, she was also taking creatine at the time, oh, which right. like builds muscle mass. Okay. Okay, do you remember what your protein? Did I? Was it something that I cut my hand on very badly trying to open? Yes. It? Tell yes. me. Yes. Tuna. But she did tuna with yellow mustard, not like the spicy. Oh right, right, right. And a lot of yellow, of yellow mustard. mustard. It was actually pretty yeah. good. That was her go-to protein. Now you know why some of the reasons why protein is so good, why it can possibly be I very helpful. I about that. Yeah, I have a major scar. I almost cut a major artery. <laughs> You know, when you can't do that. Of course she did. Of course she did. I mean, totally. Not not one day it just goes by without like some major accident. <laughs> okay, on to the next. What okay, else so this is really cool about belly fat. If you're trying to decrease belly fat, this is awesome because protein actually, if you could get 25% of your calories from protein, so think that that's about a quarter of your diet from protein, you actually can burn in six months 10% more belly fat than someone who only gets half of that protein. And in addition, you can also help to prevent the regain from the weight loss with 25% of your calories from protein, which is so cool. Yeah, so cool. So then with all this great information about protein, you would think, wouldn't you think that if you have protein powder, if you add in protein powder, it would help you to lose weight, right? Right. You're so impulsive. She's so, like, she just jumps to the gun. You would think so? No, not the case. So here is what is crazy. Okay, so if that were the case, why are some people eating using protein powder and it's helping them to gain weight, yet some people are using protein powder and it's helping them to lose hi, weight? Hi, Erin. So if this protein powder, hi, Erin, thanks for joining us. Yes. Yeah, so why would that be? And you might say, um, well, maybe the person that's that's gaining weight on protein powder, maybe it's because they use a protein powder that's got tons of protein. And while it is true that there are different protein powders out there, which we'll get to, to in a little bit, which are the best for weight loss, this wouldn't explain why people gain weight um, and also lose weight using the same protein powder. So what then is it? Okay, so let's dig a little bit deeper. So first of all, if some people with protein powder, they are able to 
they will add it in and they want to gain weight and they simply add it in and they do gain weight. They're getting more calories, they're getting more protein, it's causing them to build muscle and they're gaining weight. But if protein really was a magic bullet for weight loss, then how come we all just wouldn't add protein powder in and lose weight? Well, there you go. It's because people aren't cutting out calories. So it comes, if you want to lose weight, you can't just add more protein in, even though protein is great and it's essential for weight loss. When you add in more calories, as good as it is and as good as it is for metabolism boosting, it's not going to work unless you replace some of the calories somewhere. Right, but here's the thing. You can't just replace random calories. One way to go, and this has been proven, is that if you, let's say it's snack time, you replace some of those carbohydrates with protein, you're using protein very strategically, and here's why. Remember we were talking about protein helps to keep you feeling more full, and it also helps Hi, to David. prevent hunger. Hi, David. Hi, Erin. Thank you guys for joining. Thank you. Protein, amazing. So if you swap some of the carbs at your snack, what protein does then, you're using it strategically because it's keeping you feeling full, and so that way you can eat less at your next meal and you'll save calories that way and you'll lose weight. But also keep in mind this, when you eat protein, um, research shows that it helps to boost your metabolism when you use it instead, in, instead of carbs. But here's the tricky thing, even with all of these protein benefits, it won't automatically cause you to lose weight and that's even if you're using it to replace carbs. Right. Well, that's because there's so many factors that come into play here. First of all, when we look at our clients, we say, are they getting enough protein? And are they absorbing the protein they're getting? And if they're absorbing it, are they really, like, are they using, getting it at the right time of day? And if they're getting it at the right time of day and throughout the day at the right, and giving the right doses, then are they using the best protein sources? So there's so many things that come into play here. And when it comes to whether or not... Hi, Angie. Hi, Doreen. Hi, guys. Hi, guys. Thanks, Thanks, for, joining Thanks for joining us. us. Thanks, we appreciate it. So when it comes to protein and weight loss, even if you are replacing it for those carbs, one of the reasons why you don't know if you're actually getting the right amount for you is because you need to know how much protein you actually need. Because let me give you this example. Let's say you, get, you already get enough protein for your body. And then you decide, I'm going to you know, add in protein and I won't get too many calories. I'll still swap it out for other food. But the issue here is that if you already get enough protein for your body and you're swapping out other foods, that means you're missing out on nutrients that you need that maybe some of the B vitamins that you need to adequately metabolize protein and make the most of it. Or some of the really important nutrients and um, foods that you need to get the most energy, to get your metabolism working very smoothly. So you, that's where it gets a little bit tricky. So one of the things here is that you just can't randomly like swap protein for something else and expect it's going to cause weight loss. Right, that is true. And the other thing to keep in mind is if you're not, if you're someone who does not digest well, or say you're someone who- But um, don't cut to that chase yet. I mean, why don't you tell them like one of the things that's so important that you know there's so many factors that come into play. like. Are you digesting your protein? Like, are you absorbing your protein? And really, at the end of the day, the first thing you need to know is how much protein do you need for you? This is what changes the game. Because if you already get the protein that you need, like we just said, it's not the best thing to just go and add more in, right? Right. So, That's right. So, so if you're not digesting it, um, these are things that we can help you with. We have a simple protein evaluation that we do for free. So definitely, if you're interested in that, um, email us at info at nutritiontwins.com and we can give you the protein What evaluation. are you doing? <laughs> you're skipping all the goods. Why don't you first tell them a little bit about like Shane or like one of our clients that like- Right, protein well, food. no, I was going to next, but okay. so we have this one client, Shane, who came to us and she- Sorry, was, we'll go back and we'll, we'll share that with you later. Believe me, we have lots of goods for you today. I just wanna make sure you guys understand like protein, it's really all about you you know so like whether protein powder is going to work for you it's whether or not like you are where you stand in the whole process of it right so I mean give an example of Shane and then we'll okay we'll so up. Shane was a client of ours who came and she was before she came to us she was ha filling up on a lot of um she's fueling herself basically with like protein bars and protein shakes and protein powders and she felt like she was doing everything right and she was really frustrated because she was not losing weight and she was not building muscle so that was like a, a key, that was a big disappointment because you think okay someone's been eating all this protein like of course they're going to build muscle right right so hi laura hi laura 
thanks for joining. So yeah, you'd think that if someone's just, you know, they're working out, they're adding protein, like yeah, they're gonna get the protein that they need to build the muscle, to boost their metabolism. So why, it was for years, she had a plateau for, she called it a plateau for a year, but I mean, that's really, it's not even a plateau, that's her weight. Her and weight here, you wouldn't know, budge for a year. And we just had told you that protein um, does boost metabolism more than other things. So here she's getting discouraged. And when you use discouraged. it to replace carbs, it, it really helps, it can really help with weight loss and help you to feel more full. And so that is like something that was crazy because- Hi Julie. Hi Julie, thanks for joining. So that was crazy for her. She was so disappointed and so upset because here she was. She felt like she was working really hard. Yeah. And what happened was, what, I mean, do you want to tell her what happened and then I'll go back and tell them a little more? She just wasn't, we, we went through, we evaluated her diet and saw how much protein she was getting. We took a closer deep dive. We also looked at her digestion. But what ultimately happened was we just were able to make a couple of tweaks and she was f fueling with protein and not giving herself those nutrients that she needed to digest and absorb the protein to make and the most of it. And also for the most for her metabolism. So that was part of the thing. And I see- Hi, Jennifer. Hi. And yeah, so for, and, and that was really so depressing for her because she, I mean, before she came to see us, because she's like, what else could I possibly do? And we have to tell you, like, and if you're one of our weight loss clients and you're watching, you're very familiar with this. We have everyone coming to us and saying like, my body just like, I, it's so frustrating. I watch these people and they are like, I have friends, they're doing this diet or that diet it drops pounds for them and it's so frustrating for me like first of all I wouldn't be able to do that diet or like I've tried it it worked for a day like it wasn't sustainable and so for us what we find is this is so upsetting for so many people and it doesn't have to be so Jody I just saw you ask a great question so how do you know if you're getting enough protein if you know that this is the key to whether a protein powder will cause you to lose weight the number one key is first figuring out are you, how much protein do you need for you? And that's why people get different results. If you, we, like we said, if you already are getting too much protein and you just like, or enough protein and you just add in more protein, that's gonna be a problem. So there are different- It will cause weight gain, that's why right. it would be a problem. Um, and so th that's the first thing you wanna find out is how much protein you need for you. And we talked about it before we did this live. And we actually are going to give any of you that wanna see for free, our protein evaluation that we use with our clients. And you can just email us, info at Nutrition Twins. Um, we'll give it to you for free. Um, and then send it, we'll send it to you, fill it out, and then send it back to us and we'll set up a time to chat and tell you about like your protein needs, whether like, and then we can see like, are you getting enough? Are you getting it throughout the day? Are you getting good foods that actually you absorb and that your body digests and that you use, that you use for weight loss? Or if you add something like a protein powder in, is it getting in the way? Because what we have seen is that so many people are so upset and depressed and they're just like, and if it's something like protein getting in the way, like yeah. that's heartbreaking. Like, so we decided we're going to do these evaluations. We have a lot that we use with our clients and we're so happy to send it to you. Now, if you're someone that's like, oh, I want to do it, but like, I don't, I still don't believe that my body will do it. Like, don't get in your own way. I always tell Tammy, <laughs> Tammy, Stop getting in your own way. Like there's things that we want to do and we're just like, okay, so like we're human too. And so like we want to do things and like, we're like, why do we not want to do it? And Tammy's always like, well, I want to do it. I'm like, why wouldn't you just reach out? I'm like, I'm scared. Don't be scared, scary <laughs> cat. No, we get in our own way. So why if you're someone that's struggling with weight loss and like you don't know if it's your protein, why would you want to get in your own way? Like we don't fight. Well. I should get back. I was a biter when I was little, but I stopped. Yes. I would. I was so much nicer when I would get mad. Tim no, bite you were my nicer. Arm. Yes, I was. Scratch. No, well, that was only as to self-defense. When I would get angry, so Tammy would bite my arm, and then I would want to bite her back, and go, and then I'd go and run, and I'd bite Grover, it was our puppet. You know, yeah, our mom made us if we got. And then I, I don't want to see her about that. <laughs> <laughs> we end up with a mouthful yes. for our mom. But what I will say is, as we a like hitter, I would say, don't get in your own way. Don't get in your way. Oh, wait. Like, honestly, we don't bite. Like, hi, we, Susan. We really, hi, Susan. And Jennifer, I see that you're a twin, and it is fun to work with your twin unless she's mean sometimes. <laughs> it is usually fun. But what I will say about this protein is don't get in your own way. Like, first, let's figure out how much protein you need. Like, maybe you're getting just what you need. Maybe it's not the protein. Maybe you're getting the wrong source. Maybe you're not digesting and absorbing it. Because we're really not what we eat. We're what we digest and absorb. This is what, when you guys saw our apple cider vinegar one, this is why we drink apple cider vinegar. So we absorb more because if you could get all the protein in the world if you're not really absorbing it that's a whole other issue right and I, we have to tell you that's so common so we so want to make sure on yes. top of it so just 
email us at info at nutrition twins um, and say you'd like the free um, uh, digestive pro- evaluation. Oh, protein, protein evaluation. evaluation yeah. Protein evaluation. And we're so happy to do Like, we would love to. Like, we do not want you to panic for one more second. You can lose weight. You just haven't found the plan that's right for you. Okay. So now that we know that, let's say we find that protein powder would be good for you for weight loss. You know, once you know your needs, let's talk about the best protein powder. Okay. And let's show you what's in our pantry, right? Yes. Okay. But first, before we do that, I want to tell you what makes a good protein powder. And especially because we're talking about weight loss, the thing we want to keep in mind is you want it to be a high protein to low calorie ratio because what happens with a lot of protein powders, if you choose the wrong one, they're high in calories, they pack in a lot of sugar, there's a lot of fillers. And then the other thing you have to be aware of is um, especially the ones that come from the ground, the plant ones are great, but you have to be careful because there can be contaminants because they're grown in the ground. You could have too much lead, cadmium, arsenic. Right, so these things add up and... And then put a toxic burden on your body. And then your body, your meta- it puts a burden on your metabolism. And once your metabolism and your, your whole, it throws your body off. And so then your body can't lose weight the way it wants because it's fighting other fights. It's trying to put away those toxins. And you don't realize this happens. Um, we've had firsthand experience. We're talking from experience wellness with everything we tell you. So when we tell you like, oh my gosh, like you've watched people do this or that and it's like so depressing because it's... You or our lead went high. Uh, yeah, hello. <laughs> What? No, I'm saying we've been through everything. Like, if yes. lead goes high, yes. you know, we, yeah. Oh, lead. Oh, oh, lead. Lead. She doesn't speak English so well sometimes, you guys. <laughs> she said lead. I thought she said our leg went high. I'm like, well, mine did because I'm much more flexible than you, but your leg would not have gone very <laughs> Lead. Lead. Okay, so on to the protein powder. Yes. Let's so about- when you find out that protein powder is good for you, then what you want to do is use it to start off with, to sub in for a carb, like at a snack. And one of the ways that you could do that is like a, make a sweet, like instead of like a vending machine, um, like candy bar, you could make like a sweet treat. Like I make popsicles with my protein powder, yeah. um, which I do all different kinds. But here's one of our favorites, and this is one that we recommend for it's our clients. Organ. Can you guys it's see organ. It's organ, yeah. It's organ, organic protein. And this is the chocolate flavor, and our clients really love it. And one of the great things about this one is that it uses pea protein powder, which is really good because actually it pea uh, uh, it's split pea, and it's you get all the benefits of the pulses. And pulses are they make up their um, the legumes like beans, split peas, and also lentils and chickpeas. And they, if you can get one and a half cups per week, it really helps to reduce your risk of heart disease, and it also helps to lower your blood chest, blood pressure and cholesterol. So a lot of people don't eat beans as much, then they can go for this. And so we really like this. It has all the amino acids that are really important. Um, for um, muscle building. The pea protein does. Right. So that's good for your metabolism boosting muscle. And in this, there's like 150 calories for like, I think it's 22 so, grams of protein. Right. And, oh, and we didn't say that. Look for in your protein, look for 17, to about 17 to 20 grams of protein in there. Right. So this one, I think, I think it was 20. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. It's 21, 21, 21 grams. grams so it's perfect. Protein. So that's one of our favorites. But because of the because chocolate tends to have more of the heavy metals, in like things, the cadmium, the lead, the arsenic. That's because it's grown in the ground. So what we have our because you're not do, only getting the plant protein, which is great for vegans and dairy free and all of that, but you're also getting the cocoa that's grown in the ground. So you're getting the the pea protein hi, powder. Seth, hi Deb. Hi, thanks, thanks for, for joining. joining us. We're going through our pantry right now and showing um our some of our favorite protein powders. But for we're weight saying, loss. For weight loss, but it's also really important that you don't keep using the same protein powder because um especially if it's plant protein it comes from the ground yeah you just mix them like swap them out because some have more lead or uh cadmium and so you don't want to get too much of the heavy metal right and that's because they're grown in the ground especially with the chocolate which is chocolate the cocoa cocoa. is also grown in the ground believe me otherwise we would use chocolate every day of our lives but this is actually awesome too the vanilla the nutiva we like this brand a lot yeah it's organic Um, as well right and there's also the pea protein powder the pumpkin seed which is great for omega threes and this actually has a really good calorie um, and protein ratio because it has 120 calories with 23 grams of protein. So yeah, that's, that's pretty great. good. You so, got me into that one recently. Yeah. And I will tell you, if I'm falling short in a meal, what I've been doing sometimes is I'll just take, I'm a little hardcore, I think, because most people probably want to mix it with fruit or something, but if I'm in a hurry, I'll just take a little bit of, um, co- like I'll take a co- collagen, one of those collagen packets, um, and a little 
a little bit of that protein and just mix it in with some water and just down it because I'm going to be already running collagen. out the door. We will get to collagen Hi, another Jen. time. Hi, Jen. Thanks for, Thanks joining. for joining us. So here's another one. When we go away from um, the plant-based proteins. Vital whey. This okay. is a, a whey protein. And one of the reasons we really like this is a lot of the protein brands out there have contaminants not just from the ground, but they're, they're just not good quality stuff. and like, Or they put a lot of additives or sugar or artificial stuff. This brand is Vital Way. It really is organic, but they can't, they're a small company, so they can't pay for the label. But it's, second, a, it's expensive for companies to pay to, to be, be organic. Um, but the second I asked them for like their contaminant level and like the real amino acids in there, they sh sent me all their white papers, which is like a gold mine. Like I we saw love you, everything. Jen. Love you, Jen. Thank you. We saw like right then and there what was in the protein, and that's like a lot of companies. Don't it's do huge that. because let me tell you, I loved it. It was a big brand. It was an organic brand of protein powder. I'm not going to name them, but we reached out to them. I love them. It was like one of my favorite flavors. And I reached out to them. I said, oh, can I have your COA, the Certificate of Authenticity, seeing what was in there? And they wouldn't release it. They wouldn't release any of their testing. Not a good sign. Not a good sign. So I was so depressed because I had to stop using it and the flavor was awesome. Right. This is a plain one just because I like to mix it up um, and so I can put my own like seasonings in. And in this one, it's 85 calories for 16 grams of protein. So that's really good too. And this is a whey protein, very yeah. clean one. I also, because I So always, I think they had no hormones in that one. Yeah, no, no I mean, it's no organic. Like, you don't have to yeah. worry about getting any pesticides in there. Now this one is another one we like. I use this organic whey protein. It's chocolate, because gotta get in the chocolate. chocolate. Natural force. And it's the same kind of thing. It's 110 calories. Oh, that's a great protein ratio. I've, I've been using these things so long, I forgot. So it's like 110 calories, 20 grams of protein. She makes a lot of popsicles, as we mentioned. I have to get onto that, that track of the, um, popsicle making track so for she does like at night what do you mix it with you mix some oh I have so many different combinations I mean you yeah. just wait like open up my freezer one so, but day to give them an you're example. gonna get hit in the toe with a popsicle but it's worth it if you give them an example it. so you would take like um a little well, one of the ones I do with this lately like okay so I take this organic the chocolate one um and I'll mix it with um green uh, ginger green tea and ginger tea and because I really like ginger and then I put it in and then I do like a drop of stevia. That's just one. Like right. sometimes the texture, like you have to play around with it. Like, like that's just one. Like sometimes I mix it with a little bit of like kefir. Um, but anyway, they're just like, it's just, they're just amazing. <laughs> and you know, also because remember we were talking about how you want to get protein like throughout the day, you just don't want it at one time. You definitely, you can only absorb so much at once. So you want to get it, divide up protein throughout the day. So if you're trying to build protein, like, I'm trying to build muscle like we are and we want to get more protein in, that's a good way later in the day, like at maybe at dessert time to get an extra protein. I and mean, it's just so good. It is a great time at dessert time. So um, now... One of the things oh, that... Oh, yeah, yeah. Nutiva. The, Nutiva. The, this the, is a, the, another one. It's a plant-based protein. I'm really... I used to not be a fan of this at all. Like, I knew, like, hemp protein is supposed to be good, so, so good for you. And I was like, yeah, 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 whatever. But as soon as I tried hemp butter, hemp seed butter, it oh, converted like me. Like, it is so good. Like, at first I was like, this is weird. And then I was like, a second later, this is amazing. And Mine's now, a hemp from Brazil mix. My hemp nut butter. It's yeah, so, so good. good. It converted me so that I love the hemp seed protein powder. It's grittier, I have to say. Um, but it is a great um, vegetarian option. It, you don't have to worry as much about, like, the contaminants as you do with other ones. And you get the omega-3s with this. But what I will tell you, talk about hardcore. And I don't recommend this at home, folks. But I'll take, like, when I'm in a huge hurry and I just need protein. I love it so much that I'll just take a scoop and throw it in my mouth. But you have to have water nearby if you do try that at home because it sometimes can make you choke. Yeah, I told her to stop doing that because I don't want to end up with her like choking and then me and No, no, you just ER drink it, but it's a lot. It's a lot. It's yeah, a lot. don't but do it tastes it at amazing. Home. But this She's is great. Like, it's 120 calories. You also get a big dose of fiber. You get 10 grams of protein, but I think 10 grams of fiber, 12 grams of, 12 grams of fiber yeah, that's, and protein powder. Right, and you only need, you know, some people only get 12 grams of fiber in their entire day. The average American only gets 12 grams of fiber in their entire day, so they're in the one, one scoop. Yeah, it's so good. It's, that's good stuff so those are some of our favorites i think oh also hi shanna hi shanna hi Lori. hi Lori. oh and laura says um you keep cow powder every day oh that's amazing every day but you didn't know about the, the yes toxins. well that's the thing so i used to have it every day a lot every day of cacao powder because i'm a chocolate lover so i've kind of like that's why i try to switch and not have cacao powder so much because of the heavy metals yeah so um that's why we have this whole array from our pantry that we're showing you. We also do use um, collagen. Oh, that's what I actually mix with my, um, when I have a little bit, when I want a little extra protein, and I mix it with it. Yeah, just water. collagen's a different kind of protein, though. So we're going to talk about collagen another time. It doesn't fuel your metabolism quite the same way. as But it has other that. amazing benefits. Oh, well, that's why we'll talk about them another day. We have to prepare for that because it's very much more 
then we just these it's other a lot of detail. There's lot of joints. Detail. There's all the things that come joints. into play. How it affects your joints. How it oh yeah, your yeah, yeah. I, like yeah. Um, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> I like my like hemp joints. Oh. Um, okay, so those are protein. <laughs> Those are our protein powders from our pantry, and those are the ones we recommend if you are looking to lose weight. So again, remember, just to review, the main thing when it comes to protein powders and whether or not it's gonna help you to lose weight is all about you. You are unique, and it depends on your protein needs and whether or not you're absorbing it and whether or not you're getting it at the right time of day and whether or not you are choosing the best sources for your body. And, and whether you're getting the right nutrients to help you to absorb those, that protein. It's, a, it's all about you, so that's why there's the variation. And so if you're struggling, we just said, do not struggle. Do not let for one second protein get in the way of your weight loss efforts. We already talked about it. We said we're going to give you our free evaluation, our protein evaluation that we use with our clients. Um, just email us, info at nutrition. Tell us about the evaluation. And Jen says she's using the Vital Protein Collagen Peptides. Awesome. Oh, yeah, awesome. So that's Jen, that's, that's what, what we use. Yeah. And someone um, had sent us this one. And this one and this is amazing. amazing. We haven't tried it yet, but it looks really clean. It's we're really wait, clean. We're waiting for their white papers, as we just said. So but they're they're there. Are they? Yeah. We they're, so them. we're yeah. So we're we like that brand. But um, so regarding that, the protein your protein needs. If you struggle with weight loss, do not struggle and let protein become that thing. We we already talked about it. We're happy to send you our our free protein evaluation info. Um, email us at info at nutrition twins. Just say you want our protein evaluation. We'll send it right over, and then you send it back, and we'll set up a time to chat about it and tell you how um, we work with our clients if we feel like we can help you. But at least know what you should be getting with your protein. Like, why should protein get in the way of weight yeah. loss? Let it help so, you and not hurt you. Yeah. Crazy, exactly. right? Yeah. So that was it, you guys. That thank was you guys so thank much you for so tuning much for joining. in. You guys are so much fun. Thanks for yes, watching and, and joining. Yes, and thanks for your comments. Bye, Have guys. a great night and happy thank weekend. You. Happy weekend, happy weekend.